Hi, it's Carly McAvoy, and this is the order of operations. We're doing order of operations with just whole numbers today, so no negatives or fractions or decimals. So if you're getting those kind of answers, that means you made a mistake. Um, order of operations go like this. First you do parentheses, you simplify from the innermost to the outermost. And I just want to say parentheses could be uh, like what you're thinking of, parentheses. It could also mean brackets and it can also mean braces. They have the same meaning, even though we use different ones to help us read the problem sometimes. Then we're going to do exponents. You simplify from left to right, and after this, my left is an L with a circle around it, and my right is an R with a circle around it out of laziness. And then multiply and divide, whichever comes first from left to right. That's really important because people always want to do that multiplication first, and that's not how it goes. It's whichever one, it could be division first, whichever one is first from left to right. And then add and subtract, same thing, whichever one comes first from left to right. We don't always add first, sometimes we subtract first. And so this is the rule that please excuse my dear Aunt Sally helps you remember it, or some people remember it as PEMDAS. But when you do that, you always think, oh, the multiplication comes before division because you say it that way. And people will argue, that's how I learned it, multiplication always before division. Nope, not true. There is an order and we have to follow it because we're rule followers in mathematics. Okay, so let's take a look at some problems where we have to do this. In the uh, first one here, we have addition and we have multiplication. Multiplication always comes before addition, so we're going to 3 times 2 is 6, and then we're going to add those together to get 21. Of course, you can put that in your calculator to check, but you should be able to do these in your head without using your calculator. Now here's, a, here's one where people will make a mistake because they want to jump over and do that multiplication first. But as you look from left to right, the division comes first. So 14 divided by 7 is 2. And this addition is going to happen last because it's definitely after the multiply and divide. And now that I've divided, the next thing is the 2, uh, two times 2. And then I'm going to be finally finishing that up to get 7. It would be great for you to pause and try these and come back and see if you can get the same answer. Now here I have 8 divided by 2, which is 4. I'm going to do that first. Remember that just means a division problem. And then I'm going to add to get 36. All right, three more. Again, if you can do them ahead of me or pause and do them without me, that would be great. Here I have to do the numerator and then the denominator separately. Um, I don't know what I wrote down here, but it looks like 17, right? So maybe it is, um, no, it's 1 to the 7th power. All right, so up on top first, I have a division and an addition, so I'm going to do that division first. 12 divided by 4 is 3. And now I'm going to do the bottom, which the, new, the denominator, 1 to the 7th power, is just 1. That's a common mistake, but that's 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 times 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, and that's 1 times itself is still 1, so it's just 1. And then I have 8 on the top over 1, and then we never put the 1 in there, so we would just call it 8. Number 5, we have multiply, add, multiply. We're always going to do multiply before add. 3 times 4 is 12, 9 times 2 is 18, and 12 plus 18 is 30. Number 6, we have um, a numerator and a denominator to think of. We're going to work them separately and then put them together at the end. 40 plus 8 is just 48. On the bottom, 5 to the second power, that means 5 times 5, which is 25, and then 3 times 3, which is 9. And now I'm going to keep working on that. I've got 48 on the top already. 25 minus 9 is 16, and now this is a division problem, and I'm going to go ahead and divide that 48 divided by 16 is going to be 4. I am going fast. Be, feel free to pause and try it and come back. You don't have to sit there and listen to everything I say. Come back and check it and go on. So in here I have four outside of parentheses, and that means automatically that I'm multiplying. I don't see a thing there, so I'm multiplying four times, but I always want to do inside the parentheses first. Three times five is eight, and four times eight is 32. Now in this one, I've got a division and addition. I'm going to do the division first. 5 divided by 0, boom. I can't divide anything by 0. 0 can never be my divisor, so that would be undefined. Can't be done, so I would just stop right there. 
Now I've got this. This is what I was saying earlier. We have parentheses, but we also have brackets. So we're going to start with the innermost, which is right here. 8 minus 2 is 6. So I haven't done anything with these outer brackets yet, but 8 minus 2 is 6. That's complete. And then I can still be working on this. I'm going to go ahead and simplify 2 to the fifth power. Put that in your calculator, 2, and then you use your um, caret button if you have it. And if you don't have it, you use your x to the whatchamacallit button. And either one of those, 2 to the fifth power is 32. And then you're going to come back and do this, 40 minus 6. That's still in brackets. That's 34 minus 32 is 2. Number 10, 11. These are the harder ones. It would behoove you to try them instead of just watching me do them, but um, at least have them in your notes so you can refer to them as you try some homework on your own. I'm going to simplify the top and then I'm going to simplify the bottom. Um, on the top I have 5 to the second power which is 25, 2 to the third power which is 8, and 1 to the fourth power which is just 1. On the bottom, ah, tricky. They've got multiply, but they also have divide. And it, division comes first here, so I'm going to do 10 divided by 5, which is 2, times 2, times 2, divided by 4. Now on the top, 25 minus 8 is 17. On the bottom, 2 times 2 is 4. So I've done that part. That's 4. I still have times 2 and divided by 4. 17 plus 1 is 18, and I have 4 times 2, which is 8, divided by 4. I'm running out of space. I'm going to bring it up here, and 8 divided by 4 is 2, and 18 divided by 2 is 9. So I kept it in fraction form. What some people will do is they'll go off and they'll work in the numerator over here, thinking they'll do the denominator elsewhere. Then they get the numerator answer and they forget all about the denominator. So I always advise you to keep it in this fraction form as you work it so you don't forget half of your problem. Okay, number 11 has not only the parentheses and the brackets, but it also has the braces. So we want to do the innermost first. And the innermost is 5 times 1. Let's just call that 5 and not rewrite the whole thing because, um, you know, time and money. Okay, now we're going to do the um, continue to work in the innermost brackets. But I can, as I write this down, I'm going to go ahead and do these exponents. 7 to the second power is 49. Haven't done this part yet. I'm about to do this. Um, 40 divided by 5 is 8 plus 3. Still not done with that. And then I have 2 to the second power, which is 4. So what I did first was the innermost parentheses, and now I'm working on solving this. 40 divided by 5 is going to happen before I add 3. Now I'm going to do 18 minus 8 plus 3 is 11 plus 4. Still, now I've done the brackets. They're gone, but I still have these braces. And that's not how that actually works because that braces, yeah, that's the plus 4. Okay, we're good. 18 minus 8 plus 4, yep. Okay, and now I'm going to continue to work inside there. 18 minus 11 is 7 plus 4. Still working inside there, so I haven't dropped those, but now I'm going to because 7 plus 4 is 11. Now I finally finished everything in the braces, and then I have 49 minus 11 is 38. Feel free to put that into your calculator and check it, but when you do, you have to use parentheses where you see them. So you'd use a parentheses here and a parentheses there and parentheses, 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 right? So you have to enter it into your calculator as you see it. You can't just leave those off and hope that it works out. All right, that's order of operations. Have a fantastic